I think the hardest thing to accept initially is that even though you don't remember what you did the night before, you're not in control of your actions or thoughts, you're still responsible for anything you might have done or anyone you might have hurt. The main thing as well is understanding how the condition even works. You know, is this like, like Wolfman rules or Twilight rules, where it's no rules? Turns out it's a bit more Ginger Snaps rules. Like it starts slow, and you might not even notice anything at first. You know, you don't start feeling hungry until certain times of the day. It's like you have strict windows for when you feel hungry and when you don't. Your appetite changes too. Like processed foods suddenly start to taste a bit off, at least more than usual. You start getting cravings for fruit and red meat. You have trouble sleeping, so you need something to induce sleep, like lavender. And then you need something for the pain that's really keeping you up, like, like weird smelling pastes and oils for the swelling. So then you get up after like five hours of sleep, you're completely drenched in sweat, you reek of rot, you're stiff all over, you're barely conscious, you're bleeding out of your nose all night, so now you look like Ed Gein or some kind of fucked up cannibal. Then again, all things considered, you might as well have been a goddamn cannibal if only it wasn't for the splitting toothache. So then you need special medicine, which you get from special friends who know how to get special plants to help your special ass. So you sit there, cold, itchy, borderline brain dead. God knows you can't ask him again what to do because you don't want to look like the dumb fuck you know you are. Like someone to get you dog nail clippers and tell you how to use them. How to look out for what's happening to you. Never mind that you might forget what he told you like an absolute idiot, like the moron that you are. You better still remember how to use that other shit she gave you, because looking like an absolute twat in front of her is the absolute worst possible thing that could happen to you. All this weird smelling shit that it's hard to tell if it's even working or not, or if it's just a waste of time. Hell, what if she's trying to poison us? What then? What if one day she's so sick of your shit she just decides to slip something in there? It barely seems to do anything anyway. It doesn't stop the changes, it doesn't stop the pain, it doesn't stop the writhing. What did we do to deserve this garbage? We didn't do anything. It should have been them. We don't deserve this. So you try to make it work. You try to just keep going. It's not right to think about it like that. You can't allow yourself to think like that. It's only going to hurt you and them. They're still trying to help. That's all they can do. Really, it's all they need to do. You know it's not helpful or right to think about it that way. You still do. You can't totally help it, but that's why you have to at least try. You aren't in total control anymore, but you have to at least be responsible. Hold on to what little control you have. They do care about you, and they want to help you. 